Today I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can edit short videos and reels, let's go. My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today we're gonna to be going over how to edit reels and short form content, especially in this such heightened social media TikTok era of content. It's essential that all creators know how to create short form content. All these tips are important so you can boost your engagement, watch time, views, and even follower count. So seriously, y'all pay attention. All we're gonna be using today is Premiere Pro to edit these reels, no plugins required. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we're inside of Premiere Pro, the first step, number one tip to making vertical videos is the workspace you have to be using the vertical workspace in premiere pro i do know that a lot of people don't know about this and it's honestly a surprise when i bring it up but if you go to window and workspaces you can click this vertical workspace right here and boom look at that premiere pro has a vertical workspace saves so much space makes the screen so much bigger and it's just a lot easier to work in now first tip of creating vertical reels is making sure that your reel is straight to the point you don't want any pauses you don't want any ums buts filler words you want to get straight to the point and the best way to do so is just by cutting and editing the shit out of it. I'm being serious. Now, if you don't want to do that yourself and cut out all the little minuscule cuts and ums and butts and filler words, quick shout out to Firecut AI, which is a Adobe Premiere Pro extension. This plugin is absolutely insane. I'm just going to go ahead and load it up real quick. So right now we're in Firecut and you can see right here, this is an AI plugin, which actually automatically edits your videos. Particular works amazing for vertical videos and reels and TikToks. So you can see right here, I can remove silences, remove filler words. I'm just going to go ahead and click remove silences. I'm going to set some in and out points on our timeline right here and it's going to analyze audio track one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and hit in and out and boom. My hands are off the keyboard right now. Just watch it. Watch this thing do its magic. It's absolutely insane. So right now it's actually detecting the cuts and what this plugin does is it's going to remove all the silences in my sequence you see that right there my hands are right here guys i'm not editing shit. that is insane and you can see it tells you exactly how much time it saved right here 62.9 seconds which is crazy with that out the way <laughs> now i don't gotta edit let's go ahead and remove some repetition as well because for those of you who don't know i'm notorious at repeating myself i'm just going to go ahead and do the same in and out points and right now what it's going to do it's basically going to transcribe the audio and then it's going to find repeated segments of my words and that way i can just go ahead and remove all the repeated segments it's basically like getting all the base editing layout done so let's go ahead and hit preview choose best takes and now you can see it'll tell me all the timestamps of all my repeated segments segments and it'll tell me which one do I want to choose and with that I can just click it and it will just delete all the bad takes that is pretty crazy if you ask me I'm just gonna go ahead and do all the second ones because I know that that was the good take right there and boom there you go we are done with pretty much editing our reel I haven't really done anything haven't gone in trimmed any time as myself this was all done by AI and you can see now we have our reel down to basically the minute mark so really huge shout out to Firecut AI because this plugin is seriously changing my editing workflow next up moving on to our next tip is going to be caption. I just got to gas up Firecut one more time because they do actually have a caption feature. I'm going to teach you how to create captions in Premiere Pro, but I do just got to show you the Firecut AI feature. Basically similar to Premiere Pro, it's going to transcribe the audio. So now that Firecut is done transcribing our audio, you can see that there is this nice preview of my captions right here. And then it gives me a bunch of crazy presets. So you can choose Hormozy, shout out to Alex Hormozy, Ali Abdal, which by the way, fun fact, this plugin was actually created by Ali Abdal team so huge shout out to Ali Abdul's team for sending this over you got Mr. Beast ones these ones are always fun you got one word small box follow with like a highlighted box that follows your words these are all pretty cool but I'm just gonna go ahead and settle with the Hormozy one just because I really like the Hormozy ones click add stylized captions to my sequence and basically what it's gonna do it's gonna create a bunch of PNG files and it's gonna add that to my timeline so you can see this play out in real time right here that is just going look at it go that is insane insane oh my goodness bro i honestly it's crazy the fact that i'm living to see this day because the amount of time that this used to take just like a year ago crazy anyways now let's go ahead and play this out and you can see camera shake pack for premiere pro is perfect for music it comes with over 50 presets of camera shakes that you can just drag and drop that is insane guys so you can already see the captions on Firecut are absolutely insane let's go ahead and dive into how you can make these captions yourself 
in Premiere Pro. All right, guys, so now let's create these captions inside of Premiere Pro. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the transcript one or transcribe. I already transcribed this sequence before I started recording this video just because sometimes Premiere Pro can take a lot of time to load. Even more reason why you should look into Firecut AI. But anyways, let's go ahead and create some captions. So now once the transcript is done, you're just gonna hit the blue transcribe button and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit create caption. Now, when you hit this drop down right here on the caption preferences, you can add the option to how long you want the characters, how many seconds you want these captions to stay on screen, how many gaps between, and how many lines. I like mine in single lines just because the fewer the captions and subtitles, the, the more enticing the effect. Let's go ahead and keep the character length to around 20 because I think that's a good length and the seconds to around 1.6 seconds. And now this button right here is the style button. This one's a very particular one. We're gonna into this in just a second but let's go ahead and create captions and boom there you go you can see premiere pro has automatically loaded those captions up pretty quick and now you can see we have a nice little separate subtitle track right here and if you look on our screen we have these nice little ugly captions that premiere pro created with the base template style but don't worry we can go ahead and change this by going to our central graphics panel and then we can just go ahead and adjust the font size the color whatnot all these little settings and we can just make our own custom text but if designing captions can be quite of a hassle and kind of annoying just like it is to me and I just want quick straight to the point nice looking captions you can go ahead and check out our caption preset style pack at 11%.net in this pack we have a bunch of different styles that you can go ahead and choose from we have box templates we have gradient text we have just a bunch of crazy cool stuff and you can see with this pack imported I can just go ahead and click on this style in my track style and boom it is applied to all the captions on my entire video kind of just like the fire cut AI but still saves me so much time and you can see there's just a bunch of crazy templates that I can choose from don't have to design anything just go ahead click whatever one I like these little box ones are cool for like TikTok videos personally my favorite is the subtitle gradient blue one I just love the way that this one looks right here and what you'll also get in the subtitle style pack is an effect preset so that once we're done picking our caption style we can just go to our graphics panel and we can upgrade this entire caption pack to a graphic layer and boom there you go you'll see that all of our captions now are text graphics and what we can do now with these presets is that we can just go ahead and add this caption glow which I think makes these captions look really aesthetic and then we can just go ahead and add some zoom in animations and boom there we go now we have some animation to all of our templates and this glow effect it just looks really cool so if you want to check out this caption subtitle pack you can get it at 11%.net but if you want to do it yourself you're totally welcome to you just have to go to this essential graphics panel and just mess around with all these settings and create the stroke and then just do it each time which is seriously kind of does take a lot of time so if you do want to check out this pack you can get 11%.net so now that we have our fast paced edits and our cool captions let's go ahead and add some sound effects and some cool visual elements so what we're going to first do is we're going to add some sound effects to any like emphasizing points now shout out to tiny tapes he has this crazy pack on like whooshes risers a bunch of crazy sound effects for concerts but i also find it highly effective for editing reels and youtube type content it has a bunch of whooshes and risers that you can just drag and drop i'm gonna be using this riser sound effect from his pack which you can check out at tinytapes.ca but it's actually really crazy just how much impact just one sound effect can have on your video i'm gonna add this sound effect right before i say music videos and let's just go ahead and lower the volume a bit pack for premiere pro is perfect for music videos and you can already see it makes our reel feel a lot more intense. Now that we have some sound effects, let's go ahead and add some visual elements and you guessed it, some camera shakes as well. We're already making a reel about camera shakes, but really camera shakes just make your reels and videos feel a lot more fast paced and dynamic. So let's go ahead and drag and drop some. I'm gonna create an adjustment layer right here in my library and let's go ahead and drag this onto our project. I'm gonna cut it down just to about eight frames so now that we have our adjustment layer i'm going to search up our shake it up v2 pack which we just dropped at 11percent.net i'm just going to go ahead and drag this heavy three shake right here now that we have a camera shake one of my other favorite things to do is add like a glass breaking overlay which i downloaded for on youtube for free you can go ahead and check out the link in the description but this little glass breaking effect is just really cool and, and it definitely adds some like emphasis and like hit to your reels so let's go ahead and drag that right on the impact and boom there we go now we have some camera shake and this glass breaking effect which i think is really cool my favorite secret sound effect is the minecraft glass breaking sound effect i think this one is just super cool and i love to use it when i'm using the glass breaking overlay it's just really fun and makes my videos feel a lot more intense of course i'm not going to forget to go ahead and add some graphics behind this green screen i'm going to add an ultra key to this and i'm going to go to my effects and control and just key out this green and then we're going to just go ahead and add a music video behind this video so it feels a lot more like intense and vibrant and now you can see all together with the fast cuts the edits the captions the sound effects we have a pretty much finished real now the last thing 
really important. This is actually a pretty hidden tip that a lot of people don't know about is adding a thumbnail to your reel. Now for Instagram, this is of course pretty plausible, but for platforms like YouTube, which you don't really have the option to add thumbnails, there's actually a secret way that you can add a thumbnail. So first thing you have to do is obviously go ahead and design the thumbnail. I have this thumbnail that I created here in Photoshop. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this in. And now the key trick is what you're going to want to do is you're going to make this thumbnail like one frame at the very, very beginning of your clip right here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to export this video and you have to upload this YouTube short in the YouTube mobile app. Now the reason being so is because once you get to the upload screen, you're going to see this little pencil icon and that pencil icon right there, you just go ahead, hit the edit, and then you're going to select a frame from the short that you can set as the main thumbnail. And so that's where it comes important having that first frame as your thumbnail because you can just set it at the very beginning and boom, there you go. Now you have the actual thumbnail that you designed just so that your YouTube short works better for the algorithm. So it's just a very important quick tip. Really recommend just going ahead, add one frame of that short. Also makes it easier in Instagram as well because you have that same option of being able to choose a frame throughout your short. But with that guys, that's how you edit a short slash reel for Instagram or YouTube shorts. Hope you found something useful. Here's the final result. This brand new camera shake pack for Premiere Pro is perfect for music videos. It comes with over 50 presets of camera shakes that you can just drag and drop onto your adjustment layer and boom, you have perfect camera shakes. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just wanna say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any help or value from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so really, it mean the world to me. And once again, if you're interested in checking out our Captions Reels preset pack, you can get it at 11percent.net. We also have a bunch of other crazy preset packs for visual effects, camera shakes, title card designs, and just a bunch of other crazy templates. They're all super easy to use and they come with an instant download. So if you're interested in spicing up your edits and speeding up your editing workflow, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. Net. And also shout out to Tiny Tapes, you can get a sound effect whooshes pack in the description. If you had any questions, leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.